The Center School Reuse Advisory Team hosted their first public forum. To start off the forum, member of the advisory team, John Pavlov, shared what the committee will be doing. So the Center School Reuse Advisory Team will recommend for the Board of Selectmen's consideration a plan for the Center School building and property that will provide the Board with valuable outside viewpoints on the use and development of the property. This plan shall outline the community's vision, and I think that's the important word, community's vision, for the future of the property and produce recommendations for the board's considerations that align with the aspirations of the community. Uh, know who the members are at this point, and getting a little deeper into the charge from the selectmen, make recommendations to the board of selectmen regarding the design of an interactive public process. This is step one of the public process. Guide creation of plan for the Skinner School building and grounds. Ensure that the plan reflects the community's aspirations. Provide an assessment of the broader neighborhood context and the appropriateness of particular uses given the site, quality of life, and visual characteristics of the area valued by the community. Um, I know all, you know, um, the, the building, it's a historical building, it's right on the common, um, you know, it's certainly an asset to the town. Uh, create recommendations that serve as an invaluable outside resource to the board throughout the decision-making process. Gather input from a broad base of citizens by reaching out to the community through a community visioning, um, visioning workshop and by conducting focus groups and surveys, uh, all of which are underway, hopefully. You know, people have seen the surveys in the Hopkinton Independent, online, et cetera. And uh, conduct public education and outreach on the planning process is our final step. Um, the building is 52,000 square feet and the lot size is 11.7 acres. John then talked about the potential uses of the center school building. The potential uses were divided into three categories, town needs, town partnership needs, and disposition of property. So from priority one, town needs, school administration office space, um, that would eliminate the office space rental that we're doing today, uh, move it in. Parks and Rec office space, um, again, that would eliminate some uh, rent that we're doing today. Office space for other town departments, so relocate some of the town departments into center school. Community center or after school care, um, town record storage, and town committee meeting rooms. So uh, uh, some additional priority one needs, uh, life skills program using the kitchen and the gym. Uh, the gym use as a gymnasium or you know, possibly uh, a large auditorium for, uh, for something that would not fit into the uh, the new library, for instance, in the new meeting room in the library. So priority two, um, again, the partnership ideas. <coughs> Youth center, HCAM studio, senior housing, fitness facility, meeting space for um, community organizations, you know, the Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, the Hopkinton Running Club, um, et cetera. Donation storage to support, uh, space to support charities, and, you know, potentially even Mass Bay community um, um, college classes. In priority three, sale for redevelopment is housing. Um, a zoning change may be required if we do that. Sale for office space or retail development, if we decided as a town to do that, that would also require a, um, that would require a zoning change. Um, potentially reuse as a school again, a charter school. And uh, de demolition of the building additions. Um, in other words, retain the historic building but remove the two buildings in back and you'll potentially use that as uh, additional parking or um, uh, whatever use, including land bank banking the property for future needs. Members of the community also had some comments at the public forum. It seems as though there's uh, a large demand for space for a lot of uh, town groups. The gymnasium would be utilized. The, the, uh, cafeteria could be utilized and all the other buildings there's many many town groups the town hall is overcrowded a lot of that building is compliant it, it, you would need to add ADA compliant bathrooms for sure 
But if you use the third floor for storage, which I, I saw that there was a need for storage, then you wouldn't need to have people up on the third floor. Before you consider taking those 12 classrooms and, and demolishing that for a pocket park or whatever else, I would caution that we just named off you know, 30 different organizations that could use that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I would say that is compliant, um, that it could be used by a ton of places, a ton of, I mean, a ton of uh, organizations, clubs, et cetera, in town. I'm on the uh, family day committee and we meet at my house, we meet at somebody else's house because the library is closed the times that we'd like to meet. So this building might not, might be closed as well. It might be cost prohibitive to open it every single night, but um, as town boards, we're looking for space. So that could be used as well. You can view the full public forum on the HCAM YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAM TV.